family of a JCPS high school student is taking legal action against his former teacher after breaking his leg in an accident involving a homemade motorcycle. Last April, the then 16 year old student broke his femur after crashing into a fence on the school track wearing a broken football helmet. The lawsuit names former Fern Creek High School teacher Daniel Trahan, who was suspended and later fired for the incident. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer talked to family's lawyer and joins us now with the tales. Myra, the family's attorney says the then 16-year-old didn't have a driver's permit, let alone a license at the time of the incident, and no parents were notified there would even be a chance students would drive a homemade motorcycle at school, leaving the family to feel more could have been done to prevent this injury. This is the mini motorcycle involved in the April 26, 2022 crash that injured a then 16-year-old JCPS student at Fern Creek High School. The motorcycle was built by students and teacher Daniel Trahan as a part of a classroom engineering project. Once done, Trahan took the students to the school track with a broken football helmet and did a test run around the track. When he got off the bike, one of the students then got on. My client was the first one that volunteered to, to take a ride and um, my client took off um, on the bike. He had no experience driving motorcycles. He didn't even have a driver's license or a learner's permit and unfortunately he crashed the, the motorcycle and um, broke his leg. So why was the student on the motorcycle? A document obtained by Wave News shows Trahan's statement from April 26, 2022, saying students did not have to test drive the motorcycle, but helmets were provided if they chose to. In a later statement on July 12, 2022, Trahan says this was not a quote planned event and said the helmets were not for the students as they weren't expected to ride the bike that day. Something Nazir says is false. It, that's just not true, period. He just, he said this to try to avoid responsibility for what happened. Um, and, and the bottom line is it, it's our position that they should take responsibility for what our client had to go through. Trahan was suspended on August 14, 2022 for five days, and in February, he was fired and had his teacher's license suspended for two years. Nazer says Trahan didn't do what he was supposed to do to keep his students safe, and his client's family hopes the injuries stop here. They want to make sure that this never happens again, that another family never has to go through what they had to go through, and that the students of our community are kept safe. Now, this is only one side of the story. I tried contacting Mr. Trahan, but have not been able to reach him. But in a statement to the Education Professional Standards Board, he said he felt proper training and support should have been provided. I also reached out to JCPS for comment and to confirm the incident, and they replied saying Daniel Trahan no longer works for them. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.